adventure seekers, rootless wanderer here. And today, I say goodbye to Van Lee. I am currently out of my van, but that's because my van broke down and it is waiting to be fixed. So I am broken down on the side of the highway. I'm just sitting here waiting for BCAA to come and tow my ass. <laughs> ah, you guys. So now I'm just sitting here waiting for BCAA. I'm trying to get comfortable. As you can see. Welcome to van life. Uh, not good. Alright, so I've talked to both BCAA and the towing company. Now it looks like BCAA will cover my tow. One of those days, you guys. One of those days where you gotta dig deep and like find that inner strength because I'm just. I'm pretty bummed. I mean... <laughs> Hi guys, so here I am in my van. Um, yeah, broken down. I don't know. The van stalled out on me. I don't know what's going on. Oh! I got you. I'll take some pictures of the van, get it loaded up, and we'll be on our way, okay? Okay, thank you.
Ja. Uh, but life is still good. I am still smiling. <laughs> Nothing can get me down, you guys, really. I mean, I was broken down in Nanaimo, sleeping in a broken vehicle in the parking lot of a Canadian Tire. Okay, I slept there for a couple of days. <laughs> and then I had a friend come pick me up and take me to Campbell River. And then we towed my van here to Campbell River and my van is now at Lakeland Automotive in Campbell River. The mechanic's name is Tom and just a shout out to Tom because he is amazing and he has been putting up with so much back and forth with me and figuring out what we're going to do with the van. At first I thought I wasn't going to get it fixed, I was going to scrap it. Um, sell it off for parts but you know oh, it just really did not sit well with me that idea because that van is my home I made that van perfect for me it is everything I want you know I don't need anything else I just want that van so that's what I'm gonna do I am going to pay $5,200 to have a new transmission put into my van that's what's happening. <laughs> um, yeah, funds are kind of tight right now. Um, just doing what I can. Uh, yeah, I've been talking to Chrome from Van City Van Life. Um, I contacted him about doing a van tour. So once my van is um, fixed and I'm able to put everything back in it and um, get it back to normal, uh, Chrome said he's going to do a van tour. So that's pretty exciting. Um, what else? Just a little update, right? Um, hope you survive the holidays. I tend to hide away. <laughs> I don't really like holidays but um I am well and all is well I am well and everything is okay <laughs> The next sailing for the BC Ferries is 2.30, I believe. Let's check the time. I'm meeting a friend over on Quadra. Her name is Rochelle. And yeah, we're going to have a couple of drinks and some dinner at the pub at the Harriet Bay Inn. And then I am hoping to do a ghost hunt, a proper ghost hunt this time. Maybe see if I can get any EVPs. I don't know. It's I love, I love this stuff. Do I believe in ghosts? I know some people out there are going to ask or say I'm dumb for like wanting to do a ghost hunt. Do I believe in ghosts? Mm, I don't know. I believe in the possibility. I think the idea of having a paranormal experience is really exciting. And, um, yeah, so I keep trying. I've done multiple ghost hunts and I have yet to have any kind of experience except for at this inn that I'm going to. Last time I was there, um, I had an experience in the hallway upstairs. I went up to my room and upon entering the hallway, the lights began to flicker. And now they were on when I walked into the hallway. But just as I passed through, they started to flicker. And then I felt like this cold air all around me and I could feel like little hairs in my body standing up. And I don't know if that was just me being, you know, I don't know if I was just <laughs> creeping myself out, 
because I was the only one staying at the inn that night and also one of the only patrons at the pub that night. So there was only three of us at the pub and then later on in, when I stayed the night, I was the only one up there. I didn't get to stay in the haunted rooms. There are two rooms that are reportedly haunted and they were both being renovated when I was there. Mm -hmm. Or something. So I wasn't able to get one of those rooms. I'm, I am hoping to get one of the haunted rooms and see if I can have some kind of experience. And hopefully I can get some footage and not have it disappear on me. Because I don't know what happened last time. But it's exciting. Oh, and look, you guys, the ferry is here. We're going to be boarding soon.